Good day, Father Matt Williams here. Not in my parked car, but I'm actually in my office building. This is not my office, but no one's here on this Saturday. But it's snowing outside. Okay, so we're still on our Lenten journey here. We're only, what's it, day four? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Day four, right? So um, these 40 days of Lent is a baptismal retreat. We made that very clear. Cardinal Sean has, has taught us so well. And I think it's always important to realize, like, what's our goal? What's the goal of Lent, right? And one of the effective uh, habits is to begin with the end in mind, right? If, if, if we're going to embark, embark on a journey, we need to know what our goal is, right? And so what's the goal, right, on this baptism retreat? The goal is to live the fullness of our baptism, right? To live the fullness of our baptism, to live a supernatural life, to be transformed by divine love, to have minds and hearts that are conformed to the mind of Christ, that we would, St. Paul says, that you would have the mind of Christ, right? We want to have the mind and, and heart. We want to be transformed and conformed to Jesus, right? We want to live life in the Spirit. We want to live life fully in the Holy Spirit. We want His light to be able to shine in us and through us. We don't want to seek to live our own will, but to seek God's will. Remember what Jesus says, right? Father, not my will, but your will be done. We want to be one with Christ. So that's our goal. It's a pretty lofty goal. But that's our goal. If we're going to live the fullness of our baptism, it's to be live fully the supernatural life, a life united with Christ, mind and heart renewed, that when people see me, they see Christ, not just Father Matt, but a disciple of Jesus Christ. As St. John the Baptist says, he must increase and I must decrease. Now, within these 40 days, as I've said before, we're going to take a particular look at St. Louis de Montfort's total consecration to Jesus Christ through Mary. And, and St. Louis... Um, in his total consecration, marks out 33 days. He gives us 33 days to prepare to con consecrate our lives. In other words, to entrust our lives completely to Jesus through Mary. So I thought it'd be kind of cool as part of our Lenten spirituality to take 33 days of our 40 days of Lent to look at and study and live this consecration that St. Louis de Montfort gives us. And you can order the book online or you can follow on the website. Just check, click on the link uh, on www.oneforboston.org for that information. So why 33 days? Why 40 days of Lent? Why 33 days? And particularly, um, the 33 days for the consecration. Why does St. Louis tell us, we, I want 33 days, I don't want you to just consecrate your life today to Jesus. I want you to take 33 days before you consecrate your life. Well, he chooses 30 days probably because of the number 33, the number of years that Jesus lived on this earth. The 40 days that the church chooses for Lent obviously flows from the biblical numbers, right? The, they were wandering the desert for 40 years. Jesus was in the desert for 40 days. The number 40 comes up, nowhere in the ark, 40, 40 comes up often in scripture right? Well, why 33 days before we consecrate our lives or entrust our lives in giving them completely to Jesus and Mary? Well, he wants us to work at it. He wants us to build spiritual muscles. This is spiritual exercises, right? You might be flabby. Why do people work out? To get stronger, to lose weight, right? So that they can become trim or slimmer, so that they can become fully who they are, who they're, they're called to be, not, not some lazy, overweight person, right? But to be fully who we're created to be. This is spiritual exercise, and in spiritual exercise, we build virtue. We build discipline. We build the habit of prayer. We create a habit of prayer. The church teaches us, and Jesus, this comes from St. Paul, that we're supposed to pray all the time. Pray with without ceasing, right? But the church says that in order for that quality of prayer to work, that we can pray well all the time, we have to have definitive moments every day where we stop to pray. Think about it in terms of a dating relationship. If you are in a dating relationship, right, or even with your spouse, right, and the only time you communicated with each other was when you were driving or you were busy doing some kind of activity, what's the quality of that relationship? You need intimate moments together. You need time over dinner or spending time together in a, in a non-distracting way so that you can truly communicate and be with each other in a loving way. Prayer is the same way. Yes, I, we want to pray always, but we have to have definitive moments when we, when we take time out to pray. And that's what St. Louis is encouraging us to do through this consecration. The church and St. Louis knows what this means that it involves lots of thought and reflection, that in order for us to, to entrust ourselves completely to the Lord, we have to s step back and think about it. You know, most of us were baptized as infants, right? You didn't really think about it. And have you ever thought about what does it mean to be a Christian? What does it mean to be baptized, right? Most people have never done that. St. Louis is saying, I'm gonna, I want you to take 33 days 
or the church in terms of baptism to reflect upon this great sacrament that you've received and what this means. So 33 days is important for us because we want to think and reflect what are the implications of being a Christian? What does it mean to say, I will follow Christ? What does it mean to give our lives to him? He wants us to step back and to think about it and reflect on it. Have you ever thought about that or reflected on it? And then last and probably the most important thing, not least, but most importantly, is that the best gifts, I don't know about you, but the best gifts that I've given or the best gifts that I have received are gifts in which the giver has taken an amount of time to think and put a lot of effort into the gift. The best gifts are the gifts that people take time out and think about and put, give some significant effort to give the gift. If you're going to give the gift of your life to the Lord and really consecrate it to him, you and I both need to step back and take time to reflect upon and prepare for that so that we can give the best gift we possibly can. So that's the reason for the 33 days and for taking a lot of time in preparation to totally consecrate our lives to Jesus Christ through Mary. More tomorrow. God bless you.